Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here and we're doing something a little bit different today. We are doing a non-live com thing. Uh, commentary, whatever it's called. And uh, today I want to go over some things uh, that I feel are super important in the world of Destiny. And those include the MLG event, ghost bullets, and the balance for the, uh, the game that just came out with the patch. And the future of PvP in Rise of Iron. So let's strap in! Alright, so everybody knows about the MLG event because everybody's tweeting about it, and all the big names are going out there. I wish I could have gone, but I'm not famous or cool or really good at the game. The only thing that I could have done is cast, but I completely understand why they picked somebody like Imtash, who clearly already has experience casting events with uh, the Red Bull stuff. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully, later on in the future, maybe they'll reach out to more people in the community to do, you know, the live casting or help at least. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, I do wish that it wasn't 6v6. I think that's pretty lame. I wish all the teams could have ended up going and uh, do like a little round robin type of thing and shown off the new game mode and stuff like that. But alas, we can't have that. But uh, congratulations. There's going to be a bunch of primal guys there like Inkooch and Sonic and Frostbolt. I'm pretty sure are the guys going for us, and then uh, I am and BSK and some other people are going, as well as people that aren't technically on, like, a competitive team, like Crafty and stuff. Uh, but you know how that goes. So hopefully, fingers crossed, in the future, I can be calling huge plays with, like, Trav or something. That would be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, because I'll never, I'll never play competitive. But uh, make sure you guys check it out on the live stream on MLG dot tv slash destiny and it'll also be on twitch i'm pretty sure it's just twitch slash or twitch tv slash mlg i'm pretty sure all right so one of the biggest videos on youtube right now one of the biggest things on reddit is triple rex ghost bullet analysis scientific video thing where uh he basically shows that there is bloom on hand cannons for whatever reason and uh, shows that a lot of it's RNG when you shoot people in the Crucible for whatever reason. It's really dumb in my opinion. He knew. I know he talks about um, Halo 2 when they added Bloom. And uh, honestly, I'm not really surprised that Bungie has done something like this. A lot of people definitely think that Bungie is like, you know, they made Halo and stuff. They're super smart when it comes to competitive. But a lot of people don't realize that, you know, they did a lot of things in Halo that, you know were terrible for a competitive like in reach uh reach was absolutely aids after uh you know all the armor lock abilities and things like that it was super dumb terrible whatever uh but they ended up getting rid of bloom and stuff in uh reach so that's cool hopefully the people that are um balancing stuff or whatever whoever's running the show over there when it comes to pvp uh, watches that video and realizes how much of a joke having Bloom on hand cannons is. Um, as far as like balance and stuff like that goes, I don't really care. I think that the Thorn nerf was super dumb, in my opinion. I, I don't understand why they decided to nerf it even more. It's not like that gun was like, you know, super overpowered anymore, even though they said they didn't want a repeat of the previous Crucible shit. And, uh,. How everybody used Thorn and stuff like that. So I don't think it deserved that. I actually am using it in this gameplay. It was uh, right before the patch happened and I did really well with it. And I felt really good about myself. And then the next day they announced that there was a Thorn nerf. So crap on that. Uh, pulse rifles still aren't like super strong. Um, other than like the PDX and stuff like that. The uh, high rate of fire uh, pulse rifles like Grass of Malik. Even though that's the only legendary one. Super strong still. There's no reason to use like a Nerwin's Mercy over it. So, good job on that too, Bungie. Um, I don't really care about anything else. Snipers, I mean, it's really sad. Uh, I did like sniping people out of supers because it makes you feel like a badass. And they're probably like raging on the other side. But, uh, you know, body shotting and switching to the last word and one-shotting somebody is no longer going to be a thing, I believe. If you use like the LDR and stuff, so... I'm sorry. I'm going back to my shotgun ways. Total control. 
Uh, also fuck truth. Um, all right, the future of PvP and the rise of iron and all that jazz. I don't really know how to feel about it. Uh, I feel like the game's like either super slow. I feel like it's not very aggressive and it doesn't really reward people who are better than others, especially when there's skill-based matchmaking and all the clusterfuck of stuff that we've had to deal with since Taken King came out. I feel like there's a lot of things in Destiny PvP that needs to be fixed, and it seems like they're ignoring it for whatever reason. I'm not sure what they're building up for. I don't know if you guys have seen, but people on Twitter are showing that uh, there might be a new gun type, like uh, like what we had with sidearms in... Uh, House of Wolves, there might be a submachine gun, which, I mean, technically, like, hard light is honestly a submachine gun. But that would be kind of cool if we had another gun that was competitive, at least. But uh, I'm super excited for, like, all the ladders and MLG and stuff like that. Hopefully, good stuff happens. As for the future in Rise of Iron, I have hopes that with all the competitive stuff coming... To the forefront that maybe Bungie will in fact balance the game correctly and make Crucible fun again because I haven't had that much fun playing in the Crucible for the past year ever since Taken King came out with skill based matchmaking and stuff like that it's been kind of poopy and it's really hard to like as a content creator get videos of guns and stuff that nobody else uses and do well with them that kind of sucks and all the archetypes you know there are de there's definitely a meta and it kind of sucks to have to conform to that if you want to win or if you want to do well so hopefully with all the new guns and stuff coming out with rise of iron and uh you know like the uh the, what are those things not the amulet things what are they called uh artifacts yeah the artifact stuff maybe we'll see uh, some different type of pvp in the future but that's going to do it for today's video guys if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video i'm sorry that i haven't uploaded in a long time i love you all bye